Hello there and welcome. I was looking at this gap in my shed, trying to work out what I could do with it. So I've decided to do something I haven't tried before. Combine my love of fish keeping and aquariums with the unknown, which is for me, successfully growing any kind of vegetable. So I'm gonna have a dabble into the world of aquaponics. Now aquaponics is when you have an aquarium or tub of water with fish in it. And somewhere in line with that, you have an area where you grow vegetables or salad or fruit or something using the waste produced by the fish to feed the plants. So it's kind of a self-sustaining little environment where so long as your fish are healthy, then your plants will grow and you'll have something to eat yourself. So in order to create my aquaponic system, I need a stand. So this is a little stand I've built myself just to hold my aquarium. The aquarium is going to be a 125 and should be sufficient to have a couple of goldfish in it because they're going to be the fish which are going to be powering this whole system. So I should probably put the fish tank on the stand now. So it's just an old clear seal tank I had kicking around. It's just been outside my shed for a little while doing nothing so I thought what a better purpose for it than to provide me with some usage, hopefully grow some nice fresh produce from it. So the next thing I need to do with this is actually fill it with water. Lovely, so we have our stand, we have our tank and we have water in the tank. Let's just go through the principle of what I'm trying to do. In this tank there's going to be some fish, goldfish, um, on top of it there's going to be a tray where I'm going to have some special growing media in it and then basically the water is going to go from the fish tank up to the tray through the media and then that will fertilize the plants growing inside the media and then it will go back into the fish tank. So let's have a look at some of the equipment I'm going to be using. So firstly I mentioned some clay balls earlier and these are the clay balls that I have purchased. I got these off of eBay. Um, I got about 20 kilos of them for 15 quid, which is pretty good. Now the idea of these clay balls is they are highly porous, but they also make really good planting media. So that's the only media the plants are going to be in, is these clay balls. And then all the nutrients that they get are going to come from the water. So this way, the clay balls are going to act as a planting media, but because of their porosity, they're also going to be very good filtration media for the fish, because this is the only filter that's going to be in the aquarium. I might use a, an air pump in there just to get some water movement and to provide the fish with some oxygen. But in terms of waste removal, the plants and then this porous media, which will then harbor the bacteria, will be the filter. Now the plants themselves are going to be in here. So this is just a simple poly box. I'm going to adapt it by having a hole in one end for the drainage. And the water will enter the poly box up a pipe and into one side. Of course this is going to be filled with that media. Now to adjust the height of the water in the poly box, and to also stop the media from returning into the fish tank, I have got this. Now this is actually the um, inside of a skimmer. This is where the bubbles would come out. But I have retrieved this from inside that skimmer part and I'm gonna use it as a downpipe. So this is gonna be excellent because it will allow me to adjust the height of the water within the poly box. And also this mesh here is gonna stop any of the clay balls from returning into the fish tank. Now through the poly box I'm going to be using some of this which is 25 mil um, solvent well pipe um, and that will be my return pipe essentially into the fish tank. Now in terms of getting the water from the fish tank up into the poly box into the plants I have also retrieved the pump from the skimmer uh, and this part here. So the bit of 25 millimeter PVC pipe that I'm using I have solvent welded the two parts together and at the moment I haven't siliconed it in because it allows me to move this pipe up and down and adjust the water level to where I need it and then if it needs it I'm going to silicone around here but it, I might just get away with it and not have to silicone anything we'll see what happens right so after using the two S's of success which is silicone and solvent weld I have created the pump and uh, inlet system for this aquaponics tray here. Now, I have obviously tested it 
and it works and also an interesting fact is there is no water escaping out of this hole or very little water escaping out of that hole and I haven't siliconed it so I'm not going to bother siliconing it. So let me just turn it on. Uh, there is a slight problem and you'll probably work that one out quite quickly. And that's the noise of the pump. It's okay when it's off the glass but when it's on the glass it's a little bit vibration and I'm not going to be able to deal with that so I think what I'm going to do is put some dampening on it or put something underneath there in that gap just to hold it up however I might just replace that pump because it's really really loud but this is the prototype so we'll work out the bugs later because at this particular instance we're looking to see if we can actually get water to come up and over and then return so let's work on that but I'm going to replace that pump so here is the basic system as it is at the minute. Um, I think it works quite well, but please remember it's possibly a good idea to rinse your clay balls before you put them in to the system, but I think we would have got some murkiness uh, even if I'd have rinsed them because, you know, there's a lot of dust on these things. But in principle, this system works quite well. We've got our inlet here, pumping water in, uh, pretty decent rate you can see it's coming into the system um, it's traveling along uh, and then it's going out there quite well now another thing I might change is potentially change this to a spray bar so rather than it going in one area I might have it going out the entire length of this tray because I feel like there's going to be some dead spots um, in the flow so we'll, we'll work with that but this is only video one so if you want to see the next installment do remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so I think it's coming along alright a few adjustments a new pump and a spray bar and then I think we're going to be good now in terms of lighting um, let me just turn that off now in terms of lighting there's lots of different videos talking about different lights for aquaponics lots of people say that plants only need red and blue spectrum um, but having seen a lot of videos testing red and blue spectrum versus full spectrum it tends to be that the full spectrum outperforms the red and blue now I'm not going to be doing any experiments on that yet but I do have some um, Chinese blurple lights underneath my racking so I might just try out the blurple first and see how we do um, the light over it here is actually an aquasky so if the blurple doesn't work I'll use the aquasky probably to grow the plants so thanks for watching I'll be continuing this series uh, throughout the rest of the year and we'll see how we get on once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping Ping.